Good morning, friends. It was a very sunny Saturday morning, and one of the thing I started to love recently is to go to a cafe for breakfast on Saturday morning. And this Saturday, I went to one of my favorite cafes in town. It's called Baker's Yard. They have absolutely beautiful baked goods, very good coffee, and a lot of breakfast options. Two cappuccino. I'm thinking about americano or the filter coffee. Oh, they have matcha. They have matcha. Mm. 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 Butter. Yes, yes, this is the way to do it. It looks good. <laughs> It is super sunny today, so Alex is doing some garden job outside, and it's almost lunch time now. I personally don't eat much lunch, but I'm going to prepare a tuna wrap for him. To be honest, I am not very good at wrapping things, but let's just see. How do you actually do it? Okay, okay, we're getting it. Alright, looking not bad. Man's doing his job. So we are planning to go down south to somewhere near London in two days, but we still have some food in the fridge. One of the anxiety I have before any traveling is to manage the food in the fridge. We need to think about how to use them as much as possible and how to prepare some proper meals without buying more new ingredients. Let's see what we got in the fridge. So one thing we need to eat is this piece of steak and we have some tortellini so what i'm thinking is cook the steak cook the tortellini and make it into a tortellini salad situation it may sound a little bit weird but i think it's gonna taste good the apple tree in the garden is doing very well 
it gives us so many bad apples. The plan is I'm going to fry the steak and then when the steak is resting, I'm going to fry the carrot and the scallion and make a little sauce with it. Probably going to put some tomato in it as well. And then I'm going to cook the tortellini, add them into the sauce with the beef and top them with the salad. Okay, so these are some very beautiful tomato. They taste delicious. And it's the end of the tomato season already, which is very sad. But I'm going to use them today. It's not the best way to use these tomatoes, I have to say, but the whole dinner is just something I made up this afternoon. So it's gonna be what we're gonna eat. And by the way, I'm going to use a cold... What, what happened? What happened to my hair? By the way, I'm going to use a cold sear method to cook the steak. This is officially my favorite way to sear any kind of protein so far. I haven't tried it on fish, so I don't know if it's gonna work, but it worked perfectly on pork, chicken, and beef steak. So what you do is basically you put your meat into the pan and then turn the heat on, and then you let it cool in the pan, turn it every two minutes or so, until it reach the done as you want. So the steak is in the pan. I'm gonna turn the heat on and let it cook. Now the steak is resting, I'm going to put the vegetables in. I saved some green part of the scallion for varnishing. I cut the steak, which is pretty rare, but it's intended because I'm going to put it back to the sauce and cook for a while. Plan has been changed. Instead of putting the salad greens into the tortellini, I decided to serve it on the side. Now we stopped by a, a farm shop place and I saw some camels. Not you, not you, not you. <laughs> Cake of the day. Pudding. White and black pudding. Those white and black pudding. This looks fancy. Eyes. Mm. You're always in your jam and butter croissant situation. Thank you.